I can tell from the outset this project is going to be a skill building challenge project. <laughs> I've got 16 different pieces to cut. They're all different and they all have notches that need to be made in exactly the right location or everything's not gonna to fit together properly. I'll start by squaring up one edge of this board using my edge jointing jig. I want all these pieces to be square. I'll set the width of my cut using the thickness of the board. Now I can run that jointed edge along my rip fence and know that it and all the other strips will be square. I'm gonna begin with cutting all of the pieces down to their final lengths. My crosscut sled will help me get accurate cuts. I'm marking my lengths with a knife instead of a pencil. But I'll still cut it a little large and sneak up to that mark until it's an exact length. My dado blades don't stack up enough to make these notches in one pass. It comes with some brass shims, but even those aren't enough. So I found these plastic washers. I'm gonna see if those work. I have the zero clearance insert for my dado blades, but I'm gonna have to make it a little bit wider. I can run my first test. This will be mostly for the width, not the depth. I'll just have to break these pieces down. Looks like it might be a little loose, so I'll remove one of those brass shims. That looks like a pretty good fit. I'll set the depth by making a notch in another test board. I thought I'd wait till the second day to get started cutting all of these notches to kind of mentally prepare myself for this skill building challenge. I'm gonna start by cutting all of these notches that are on the end. Since they're all the same distance, I should be able to get some consistent cuts. That distance will be the same as the width of a board. Well, I definitely feel like I'm on the right track here by cutting all of the notches that are the same distance from the ends at the same time. I think what I'll do next is cut all of the notches that are on the very ends of the boards. To do that, I'll set up this sacrificial board to my rip fence. Now for the tricky ones, these notches that are inset from the ends, I'll have to do some careful measuring on those. And I just discovered a problem. These walnut boards I bought at the lumber yard are not exactly three quarters of an inch thick. They're about a sixteenth of an inch thicker. Normally that wouldn't be a problem, but I based all of my measurements on three quarter inch material. Luckily I caught that early on with this first inset notch. I made it three inches over and while that fits fine there, it doesn't line up when I place this piece on causes these two pieces to go out of parallel. In most projects, if I were a sixteenth of an inch off, it wouldn't make much of a difference. Nobody would notice it. In this case, there's just no room for error. I think the solution is to base everything on what I've already started here and make all of my measurements based on known measurements. I can make the measurements for these notches based on this distance from here to this notch. So here I can measure the distance distance I need by using those notches. Perfect. Okay, I think that's the plan. Well, it's day three of these. I've identified four different pieces that I need to recut, and I don't think that's too bad. One thing I've learned over the years is to always cut extra pieces to begin with. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem to recut those few pieces. I've got my dado blade set up perfectly. I don't wanna switch those out to a standard blade or mess up my setup. So I'm gonna cut these boards to length using my miter saw.
Okay, that all came together pretty nicely. It's a shame to have to take it all apart now so that I can glue it together. And that is the glue up to end all glue ups. I've got a rabbiting bit in my router to route out a ledge on the back side to hold the picture and the glass. Cutting those rabbits always leaves curved corners and you could take a chisel and square that off or you could do what I do and just round over the corners of the plexiglass. I'll finish this off with spray lacquer. Well, it certainly was very tedious and took a lot of work to make this frame, but in the end, I'm really happy with it. If you would like a skill building challenge of your own, I've got a free set of plans down in the description. Just make sure you cut all of your boards to the exact thickness. Thank you for watching this week's art and design episode. If you'd like to see more videos in this series, please check out the art and design playlist. And if you're new to Woodworking for Mere Mortals, welcome. Please take a moment to subscribe so you won't miss a project. <sighs> that was a lot of work. Thanks again for watching everybody. I'll see you next week.